Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today you guys were continuing on with the Christmas decorating here on the channel. So we're in my family room and today we're going to be decorating my Christmas tree in this space for the holiday season. But before we get started, this video is sponsored by Lily Silk. So Lily Silk is an online retailer who specializes in high quality silk products. So some of the products that they make or they sell are blouses, they sell bedding sets, they also sell pajamas, pillowcases, and more. So they sent me out a couple of their items to try. So I'm going to share with you some of the items that they sent me out and I'm also going to try them on so you guys can see as well. So this is how the items come packaged here. The packaging is really nice. So Lily Silk sent me out three items to try out. So the first one is this cashmere sweater, which is, has a very nice soft material and is in a color gray. And I believe the size that I got was like a small. And then the blouse I got is like a silk blouse in the color cranberry. And then I also got a pink silk eye, um, eye mask that you wear at night. So I'm going to try these items on so you guys can see and kind of see how everything fits. So the first item that Lily Silk has sent out to me was this stand collar long sleeve silk blouse and then it's in the color claret. So it's almost like a cranberry color, which I absolutely love. It's very soft, feels like high quality. The silk is very breathable against my skin. Now I would definitely wear this with some nice dress slacks or a nice skirt. I'm just trying it on with these jeans so you guys can kind of get the picture of how it looks, but I absolutely love it. So I have it linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. Now the next item is probably one of my favorites out of the items that they have sent me is this beautiful cashmere sweater. It's very nice. It's very soft and silky and it's just really thin and it's perfect for the weather down here in Texas because it's not too thick and not too heavy. So it's really nice for transitioning weather. So this is, I got mine in a size medium and then it's in this color grayish, but it looks like a tan color to me. So it's very soft and uh, just very comfortable to wear. And then they also sent me out this pink eye mask, which I love these. These are great for when you're trying to get some sleep. And then it has, like I said, very good benefits for your skin. So these are really nice to kind of sleep at night and I really love the pink color and the black on there as well so I have everything linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested Don't forget to use my special discount code uh, down at the bottom in the description box to save 12% off your order and thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video Hey you guys, so let's continue on with today's video. So like I said, we're going to be decorating and styling my family room Christmas tree. So this theme for this Christmas tree is kind of like my version of a winter wonderland, but it's going to be have a lot of navy blue and white. I'm also going to add in some doves and some owls just to kind of make it a little bit of whimsical. So yeah, so I'm going to put this video on a time lapse so you can guys just kind of see me work and show you the process or the progress of creating this tree. So I do have other videos up on the channel where I decorated two other Christmas trees and then I walk you through and talk you through the steps and everything of those trees. So it's kind of the same process, just a different color scheme in a different area. The thing that I'm gonna be decorating this tree I purchased from the at home store. Now some things I did have before from previous Christmases. So I kind of try to go through and show you some of the ornaments one by one and also kind of tell you where they're from if they're not from the at home store. But I'm gonna put this video on a time lapse so you guys can kind of see um, me decorate and then a process, see me decorate and style this Christmas tree.
So I found these birds from Michael Stores last year. So I thought this would be cute to add a whimsical element to this tree. So I'm just gonna add these birds to my tree and then I'm just gonna face them towards each other. And then these are medium sized birds. I can't remember how much they were, but you'll see me add several birds throughout this tree. So I just think doves, white birds are just really pretty during the winter time. So I'll add some doves and I'll also add some winter owls as well. So this is the ribbon that I'm going to be using on this tree. I absolutely love it. It's in this rich navy blue color and then it has these beautiful white snowflakes. I did pick it up from Etsy so if I can find the link I'll have a link down in the description box below. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything so I always like to add at least two ribbons on my Christmas tree. So I found this velvet white ribbon on Amazon, which is absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to add this along with that navy blue ribbon that I have on the tree. So next I'm going to add in some pigs. So pigs always kind of add like an additional texture to your tree. So it all almost adds like an element of surprise. So I like to add use pigs as well as ornaments. So I'm just adding these pigs I got from Hobby Lobby maybe a few years ago. And they're just some glittered acorns that, um, that came on a little stem. So that's what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is just using these to add to any gaps that I may have, have in the, that I may have in the tree. I'm also going to add in these white poinsettias that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. These are just some white plain poinsettia, poinsettias and then they have a little bit of glitter on them. So I'm just going to add them sporadically throughout the tree.
So now I'm just gonna add in some more picks. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby last year as well. And then I think I have maybe about four or five of these. I'm just gonna add these for like throughout the tree as well. Now this is what the tree is looking like you guys and I really love how she's turning out. So next I'm going to go ahead and start adding some ornaments and then like I said I'm going to speed it up in YouTube time just that, that way we're not sitting here adding each one of the ornaments. But all of these gorgeous ornaments came from the at home store. And I particularly like this beautiful baby blue one that I'm going to add in there to add a additional pop of color. And then this one has kind of like some frosted design around the circular part of the ornaments, which is really stunning. Next, I'm going to add in these beautiful white ornaments as well. Now we're going to add in more picks because you can never put too much on your tree. So I'm going to add in these beautiful blue picks or navy blue picks that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. So I'm just going to add these sporadically throughout the tree. When decorating your tree, you always want to take your time and step back, look at it and make sure that it's looking like or how it's turning out how you want it to look like. And if not, all you can always make adjustments and everything before the finished product.
So I told you guys in the beginning that I love birds in the winter time. So I'm gonna add in these cutie. These are birds are really pretty. They're like some beaded, they have a beaded detail on their back. And then they have a nice, beautiful kind of velvety uh, tail. And I think I got these birds, well, I think these came from the at-home store. They could have came from Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. But they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna sit these on the branches of the tree. And then I did go ahead and add those owls to the tree as well. As you can see them picking out, through, peeking out throughout uh, little gaps in the tree. This is the final look you guys and I absolutely love how this tree has turned out. I think she is probably my favorite tree that I've done this year so far. So she's absolutely stunning. So I love how she turned out. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. To all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Santa's coming to visit No, he